hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows what we have a raised to power m minus n which is something as a raised to power m over a raised to power n now this here can rise as 4 raised to power x over 4 square then plus this also follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is here, this becomes 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1, then equals to 100 on this side. Then next step here, we can write this as 4 raised to power x times 1 over 16 here. Plus here we have 4 raised to power x times 4, then equals to 100 on this side. The next step here we have 4 raised to power x common. Factor it out we have 4 raised to power x into brackets. Here we have 1 over 16, then plus 4 close brackets equals to 100 on this side. This we can bring this together as one fraction. This is 4 over 1. And we have 4 raised to power x into bracket. SCM here that's 16. Then here we got 1 plus 64. Then close bracket equals to 100 on this side. That is, we have 4 raised to power x times 1 plus 64, that's 65 over 16 which is equals to 100 on this side then here to remove this 65 over 16 on this side multiply both side by 16 over 65 also multiply this side by 16 over 65 that is here this cancelled each other we have 4 raised to power x then equals to yeah we have 100 you can write that as 5 times 20 then times 16 over yes yeah, 65 you can write it as 5 times 13 then next step here 5 cancelled each other and we have 4 raised to power x equals to 20 times 16 over 13. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share this video, and subscribe. Next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 20 times 16 over 13. Then, next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, here, this becomes x log 4 equals to log 20 times 16 over 13. Then on this side, this follows when we have log a times b over c, which we can write as log a plus log b minus log c. That is, what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log. 20 plus log 16 minus log 13. The next step here, we separate, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here log 4 cancelled each other. Then we have x equals to log. 20 plus log 16 
minus log 13 over log 4 which implies yeah we separate this into three fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 4 plus log 16 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 then all oh, we have here 16 same thing as 4 times 4 that's 4 square then this equation becomes x equals to log 20 over log 4 plus log 4 squared over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 then next step here we apply the power of log ring to comes a and what we have becomes x equals to log 20 over log 4 plus 2 log 4 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 which implies here log 4 cancel each other we have 2 here then what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 20 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 then also here you can write 20 as 4 times 5 that is all we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 4 times 5 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 then this follows the law of log ring and we have x equals to 2 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4. Then next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 2 plus log 4 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 that is all we have here log 4 also cancel each other we have one left that is x equals to 2 plus 1 and plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 then from here we have x equals to 3 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 13 over log 4 then yeah 4 can be written as 2 times 2 that's 2 square and this we have x equals to 3 plus log 5 over log 2 square minus log 13 over log 2 square then we apply the power of log ring two comes here and also here then we have x equals to 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 13 over 2 log 
So then, yeah, we can write this as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 multiplied by log 5 over log 2 minus also 1 over 2 multiplied by log 13 over log 2. Then we apply change of base here. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log 13 base 2. And we can bring this together as one fraction, and we have x equals to the SCM here that's 2, this 3 over 1, and this becomes 6 plus here we have log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2. That is the value of x here. We have 6 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 6 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 or over 2. Then what we have here becomes. 4 raised to power 6 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 all over 2 minus 2 here yeah? then plus also 4 raised to power 6 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 all over 2 10 plus 1 is this equals to 100 on this side. That is, next step here, we can bring this part together as one. This is 2 over 1. That is, we have 4 raised to power. SCM up here, we have 2. And this is 6 plus log 5 is 2 minus log. 13 base 2 minus 4 now, then also plus 4 raised to power. The SCM here also we have 2, then we have 6 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2, then plus 2 now. Then is it equals to 100 on this side? That is, yeah, we have 6 minus 4, that's 2. All right, that's 4 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 all over 2, then plus, yeah, also we have 4 raised to power 6 plus 2, yeah, that's 8, then plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2. All over 2, then is it equals to 100 on this side? That is, yeah, we can write 4 as 2 square, which is raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 all over 2. Then plus, also here we have 2 square raised to power 8 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 100 on this side that is here this power multiplies and two here cancel each other and we have 2 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 13 base 2 plus here also we have to cancel each other, that's 2 raised to power 8 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 
13 base 2. Is this equals to 100 on this side? That is, here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power n plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n, and also a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. This is combined here. When we separate this, we have 2 squared times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2, then over 2 raised to the power log 13 base 2, then plus. Also, here we have 2 raised to the power 8 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2, then over 2 raised to the power log 13 base 2. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then, here we have 2 squared as 4, then times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is the same thing as 5 over here we have 13 plus. Here 2 raised to power 8, that's 64, then times. 5 over also 13 here. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then, oh, hello, sorry, there was a mistake earlier in the previous step where we have 2 raised to power 8. That's 2 multiplied itself 8 times, and that gives us 256. So, sorry about that. So, here we should have. 256. Okay. Now let's continue here. Then we have 4 times 5 here give us 20 over 13 plus 256 times 5. We have 1280 over 13. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then from what we have here. We can bring this together. SCM made as 13, and we have 20 plus 1280, and is equals to 100 on this side. And this here becomes 1300 over 13. Is equals to 100 on this side? And here, of course, 1300 over 13 gives us 100. Which is equals to 100 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 6 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 13 is 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.